All right, Chad, it's time. It's time. Draft lottery, the 2016 drafts. I believe. I allowed to set up my block again. Do I have to set up my block? Did you screw up my block? You screwed up my block. Dicks. Dicks and ass. Still no uh, retired player screen either, which is crazy to me. Oh, I really don't want to set up the trade block again, but I have to. I will have to see, too, if uh, it does have the full list of retired players. I also think the draft works like it did in previous consoles. Like This was a decent version of franchise, but there were some missing features for sure. <sighs> I gotta sort by overall. Otherwise, they're gonna offer me terrible, terrible people. The biggest poo poo PP is NHL 04 not working on Windows 10 or 11 with a massive headache. Oh, Ripley, trust me, I am aware of the headache of trying to get NHL 04 to work. Um, it's a fucking nightmare. You have to change certain things that essentially get your, uh, get your modern PC to act like a PC from 20 years ago. And, uh, sometimes you can do everything right in the installation and it still just says, fuck you. So, um, yeah, it's not ideal. It literally is easier to just buy old PC parts. Yeah. So yeah, been, been there with trying to get like NHL 04 rebuilt to work and, uh, not easy. You can technically get NHL 04 to work on a modern PC through emulation, no problem. But rebuilt isn't built through emulation, is the problem. So, not that you need rebuilt to enjoy the greatest hockey game of all time. I'm just saying. So let's see. Do we have a full list of retirements? No, we don't. Well, we know the Pavel Dotsuk retired, as did Joe Thornton, LOL. And redeem Verbata. It's really weird that it'll, you know, it wasn't a thing before. But here we go. Lottery luck. Do we have it? Well, I'm pleasantly surprised that this version of the draft screen existed. The Washington Capitals have the number one pick of the draft. God damn it. We fell to three. If we take a look at who's projected, it's Logan Brown, Jake Chikrin, Max Jones, Austin Matthews, and Tyler Benson. I have to try to trade up with Washington. Do they want to trade the pick at all? Yes, they do. They do indeed. Do I have a way to pull this off without giving up my own pick? I mean, there are some players. JVR? Oh, shit. JVR's trade value has dropped immensely, though. JVR's value dropped quite badly. Let's just use that third, then. Again, I don't want to sell JTR, or JVR. I don't want to sell JVR at a loss. I was going to say trade. Sorry, my brain is just not working tonight. I don't know what the hell's happening to me. I'm dying, maybe? Am I having a stroke? Who's to say? Leipzig. I mean, fuck Brendan Leipzig. Use the third overall pick in Brendan Leipzig. I have to take somebody back to offset Leipzig. Uh, Dmitry Orloff? Third in Leipzig for the first in Orloff. Rejected. It's close to fair value, though. We still got a little bit of time. Actually, the clock looks to stop, but that might be a glitch. What about Anaheim's fourth? The first overall pick belongs to the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we trade the third, Brendan Leipzig and a fourth for the first overall pick in defenseman Dmitry Orloff. And with the first overall pick... It was destiny, damn it. And it has to happen. Austin Matthews, you are not a Toronto Maple Leaf. We're taking Jake Chicker. 
Dude, I don't even know how far line A is. Like, how far down the list. We can look really quickly. I can call the timeout. Let's take a look here. So if we look at the projected, obviously we saw the top five. Then you have Ralph Jarrett, Sam Steele, Jake Kriske, PLD, and Brett Howden. Rest of the first rounders, Jake Bean, Tyler Soy, Luke Kerwin, Ty Fellhaber, Matthew Kachuk. List as a first rounder. Joaquin Boudreaux, Keaton Middleton, Tim Gettinger, Luke Green, Marcus Niemelainen, Sean Day, Max Lejoie, Ole Levy, Schuldhaus, Woodworth, Cam Deneen, Jordan Sambrook, Jack Kapaka, Sam Gerard, Otto Sampi, and then we go down. See, so yeah, Line A is not even a projected first rounder. Fair enough. Obviously, Matthew Kachuk would be a hell of a target. I mean, I feel like it has to be Matthews, though, right? It's got to be. We got Benson, Matthews, Max Jones, Jacob Chikrin, or Logan Brown. I feel like it has to be Matthews. It just wouldn't feel right otherwise. Matthews, the playmaker, by the way. Yeah. Think about Chikrin and Riley. <laughs> You know what? I don't even care. I'm going to leave it up to chat. I don't care. We'll see if chat wants to meme. It made sense to trade the first anyway, kind of. Um, Matthews, Brown, Chikrin, Jones, or Benson. Justin, thank you for the follow, by the way. Let's see what chat thinks. Why not? Why not? Who does chat want me to take uh, with this first overall pick? Uh, okay, no, people aren't memeing. It's Austin Matthews. <laughs> people said, nah, we're not even gonna meme this one. And the vote just skyrocketed for Austin Matthews. Christ. Well, we'll see who finishes in second, but let's just go ahead and take Austin Matthews now. Uh, Austin Matthews, you are a Toronto Maple Leaf. Done deal. Trade up to two. I don't think we have the value to do that. Uh, the Jets don't want to trade the pick anyway. Do the Caps want to trade the third pick? They would trade back for our own pick. But again, there's nobody here that I want to get rid of. You know, you'd be talking about Kadri selling JVR at a major, major loss. Um... I mean, Gardner. There's really nobody with major value to make that play. I mean, even Jared Callen. So I don't think we'll trade back into the top 10. But afterwards, maybe we can keep an eye on Matthew Kachuk. So the Jets at two. As we get a trade offer for our remaining pick from Pittsburgh. I'm going to decline that. Jake Chikrin goes second overall to Winnipeg. And you can't click on them to see overalls or anything right now. I, I didn't realize NHL 16 was where this uh, draft screen came from. We've had this for a long time. At three. Not going to do that. Washington takes Max Jones. You got the Oilers at four. Ooh, we might have to. We might have to do this. It's Andreas Janssen. Hello. Can I see the players? It's really weird. I can't like click on their player card from there. So Janssen, 73 overall, 21 years old, high bottom six. That's not a bad player. It's funny that we have Dimitri Orlov. Dermot, though, absolutely sucks. <laughs> he absolutely sucks. So basically, we'd be betting on, can we get a better player than Andreas Janssen with that second round pick from the Abs? I would think there's a decent chance of it. I mean, I like Travis Dermott, but I don't know if we can brute force him into being an actual decent prospect in this game. So we, uh, I think we got to take this. Janssen and Dermott to the Abs for a second and a fifth. It just feels like I could be making a mistake with this one.
I'm gonna say no. I think I'm gonna say no. At least for now. Tyler Benson still ends up being an oiler. And the Blue Jackets had the last pick of the top five. And they took Logan Brown. So, fair enough. Uh, when is our next pick, by the way? We know it's from Pittsburgh. We know they made the playoffs. It's late. 27th. 27th. Make that next pick. Tim. Oh, oh, but Timoshoff's good, though. Timoshoff's good, though. It doesn't tell us where that Colorado pick is, either. It's just, hey, here's a good pick. And they have made some good quality of life changes. Yeah, look at the value of Dimitro Timoshoff. I'm going to say no to that. The odds that we get somebody... Better is very slim. Sam Steele on his way to Florida. Where is that Colorado pick? Ooh. Oh, man. It is the eighth overall pick, though. Let's see who Boston takes at seven. We get a trade offer for Uncle Leo, a third and a fourth from Detroit. How good is Leo Komarov? 83 overall at 29. I mean, Uncle Leo's not bad. He's not bad. That is the type of player that we could get at any point. But at the same time, Leo Komarov could also be our captain. But it is true, he is the type of player that is very, very replaceable. I'm going to take the picks from Detroit. Coco, what's up? We are in season one and tearing this team down. Brett Howden goes seventh to Boston. Who's left on the board in the top ten? Jarrett Krisky and Pierre-Luc Dubois. <sighs> we know they wanted Timoshoff. Timoshoff is a 68 at 19 years old. I got to be honest, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't guarantee that PLD is better than Timoshoff. I can't do it. Colorado at 8 takes Krisky, who is still a high 6. Vancouver at 9 took Ralph Jarrett. Fuck, maybe he is. Everyone else is still a high potential. Do we trade up for PLD or do we keep eyes on Matthew Kachuk? I think I'd rather aim for Matthew Kachuk. Montreal at 10. Took La Joie. Oh my God, they took the Frenchman. Uh, Carolina, do you want to talk? They took the... Ah, oh, Carolina doesn't want to trade the pick. It's not going to happen. The Hurricanes at 11... Took Jake Bean as we get a trade off for Dermot and Dia for a third and a fifth. Oh my god, PLD is still on the board. Again, Dermot, I don't want to trade at all because it's Travis Dermot. And he's the man. But his potential in this game sucks. We'd have to hope like how that we could brute force him to be good. And Dia is not that great either. So I think we'll take that deal from Colorado. J oh my god, high elite Jake Bean at 11th? He's the best player in the draft. <laughs> How did he go 11th? Do the Islanders want to trade at 12? They do. Can that be the landing spot for JVR, even though we'd be getting him at a loss or trading him at a loss? What about Jake Gardner? Because Gardner's happy. If we give up Jake Gardner, obviously we have to give up a little bit more. But if we give up Gardner, is there anybody else that we're not too confident in them developing? Gardner, Michael Grabner. I mean, Grabner, obviously a former Islander. So Gardner and Grabner. For Justin Vive and an upset Steve Bernier. 
Will they take this? Oh, okay, they don't want Grabner because his deal is expiring. Okay, hold on. Damn, I really should have traded Grabner when I had the chance. Milan Mahalik? Gardner and Mahalik for that first. Justin Vive and Steve Bernier? Quite far off. That doesn't surprise me. We do have extra picks, though. We have that Nashville second. Let's try the uh, Colorado. Uh, let's go for the Florida third. Is that enough? And we'll throw in a Colorado fourth. Gardner, Mahalik, a third and a fourth for what, the 11th overall pick, Justin Vive and Steve Bernier? Shit. What about two fourths? Still no. Damn. Uh, what about the Pittsburgh third? And then we'll still throw in a fourth from Colorado. They don't want to take on Milan Mahalik. Let's take out the Pittsburgh third. We can retain on Mahalik. I didn't notice that that's why they were uh, saying no. So let's retain on Milan Mahalik. Gardner, Mahalik on 50%, a third and a fourth for that first, Vive and Bernier. There it is. So I didn't really plan on trading Jake Gardner, but we can save him from the wrath of Twitter. And uh, we just landed a pick. 12th overall. And it has to be Pierre-Luc Dubois. Top 10 projected who's still there? I thought we'd be trading up for Kachuk at this point. But we're landing a top 10 projected player at 12th overall. It's Pierre-Luc Dubois. He's about what we expected. I expected him to be a high six like all these other guys. It just looks like shit because Jake Bean's a high elite. <laughs> but not too bad for PLD. Again, we do have another pick later on, but in terms of the value to trade up, it's not looking too good. Bruins don't want to trade that pick, so nothing we can do. As they take green, we get a trade offer of a fifth round pick from Matt Hunwick. Um, there's really no reason to not take this. We can not see Beans overall now. Hunwick is a 79 overall at 31 years old. We'll take that deal from LA in our sleep. Green was a high four. Coyotes are calling, or they're on the clock, I should say. We're calling the Coyotes. They don't want to trade the pick. Arizona takes Sean Day. It was also a high four. Buffalo. They don't want to trade the pick. You know, the trade screen of Carolina. Yeah, we can leave it a surprise for now. Buffalo takes Luke Kerwin. I'm not trading JVR at a low value. Oh, my God. The high potentials. Jesus. Philadelphia. Also don't want to trade the pick, so again, the value is higher than it actually looks, which is why we don't trade for it. Johnson and Bozak for a second and fifth. No, Paquin Boudreau off the board. The Yotes still not looking to trade a pick. Also, you like how trades lowercase for no reason? Come on. The Yotes take Tyler Soy. What do we got from Detroit here? Detroit wants to trade it. This should be our opportunity. It will take our remaining first round pick from Pittsburgh to make it easy. I don't think it'll go through straight up. But it is going to be close. What else can we add to this deal to get it over the line? Um... Bozak's value is in the mud right now because he's very unhappy. Uh, Colin Greening. Doesn't have too much value, admittedly. If we take on Brad Richards, they'd be over the cap. Shit, it's got to be picks. Uh, if we use our own fourth, still not enough. What if we use Vancouver's fourth? Quite far off. Shit. What if we use the Pittsburgh third? 
There it is. So, uh, yeah, a third, two-fourths to move up from, like, what, pick number 26, 27? And now we have the 18th pick. Shout out to M Goat, a.k.a. Magoat. Welcome in. Uh, no brainer for me here. It's Matthew Kachuk, right? Like Ole Levy would be funny, but man, we can get Matthew Kachuk and Austin Matthews on the same team. It kind of sucks that Kachuk doesn't have a picture, but Ole Levy doesn't either. Keaton Middleton does, and of course he's fucking huge. Tim Gettinger. Gonna be Kachuk. Jesus Christ loves you, and he died on the cross for your sins and mine and everyone's. Then, oh, no, hold on, hold on. There was no punctuation. <clears throat> hold on. Let me see. Does that pop up? It does. <clears throat> Jesus Christ loves you, and he died on the cross for your sins, mine, and everyone's. And then when he rose from the dead on the third day, so we could be forgiven for our sins and have an eternal life, God bless. Oh, actually, I read that last part wrong. It should be. So we can be forgiven for our sins and have eternal life. God bless! Because there's an exclamation point. Amen. <laughs> All right. Matthew Kachuk, welcome to Chirana. Let's fucking go. Thank you, Jesus. RN Jesus. We land Matthew Kachuk with the 18th overall pick of Medium Elites. To go right alongside Pierre-Luc Dubois and Austin Matthews. Hot damn. Matthew Kachuk. You'll love to see it. Thank you, Jesus. Not trading Nazem Kadri. Tim Gettinger goes to the Devils. Uh, the Blues take Keaton Middleton. Calgary. We don't know yet. They took Ole Levy. Low four. <laughs> Oh no, it's so accurate too. Holy a levy, the trap card of the draft. Goodness. Detroit, or not Detroit, Anaheim, the Ducks take Ty Fellhaber. Yeah, I don't think we're going to trade up again at this stage. I think we just settle in with our other picks. Nima Linen's available. There's some other dudes. I think we can go ahead and, uh, and we can sim. So let's go to our next user pick. Not trading Jared Cowan. Nope. Nope. They're trying to take advantage of the fact that I have some very upset people. And that's not when you trade people at their lowest possible value. If you can avoid trading them at that point. JVR is certainly one of them. As is Tyler Bozak. Victor Louvre, the love doctor. For a fourth and a fifth. Uh, Niles, I don't know. Do I? I don't think I do. Oh, no, I do. Jesus! <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. Uh, so a medium seventh is the love doctor. Oh, my God. I just saw Austin Matthews overall. Hold on a second. So Louv is a 74 at 23 years old. Yeah, he's fine. Um, attention. Austin Matthews is an 83. Dubois is a 58. But they made Matthews NHL ready right out of the gates. Austin Matthews is a leaf. Play the clip of Steve Dangle freaking the hell out. It doesn't show Kachuk yet, though. Takachuk. We'll take that deal. We'll send Victor Louvre to Buffalo. Finding a shitload of trades. All right, let's see how the rest of the first round went. So we left off after the Chuck deal. Nimalina was a medium four. Sompi. Auto Sompi to Tampa. That was accurate. Gerard, Jordan Sandbrook. Yeah, I think we got out at the right time. Not that these guys are bad. Oh my God, it's glitching. What? Sandbrook, Deneen, Henderson, Davidson, Woodworth. And then second round, Schaldhaus, Barbaris. Opaca, and we're on the clock. So who the hell is available to us here? Julian Gautier? Okay, there's some good names here. Julian Gautier, Valtteri Hopanen, Jack Walker, Cameron Askew, Max Gerlach, 
Alex Nylander. Loic Lavalier. Yessi Pugliarvi. Okay, Olofsson, Dante Hanoon, Johnny Holtby. Ron Finnerty. I will look at goalies. Calm your tits. Jordan Cairo. It's available. Mikhail Sergachev. Jesus Christ, the second round. Just a mirrors. Jacob Moverer. Patrick Laine. Second rounder. Michael Zip. Ken Hall in Norway. Kai Wisman, future Providence Berlin. Man shine. And then it drops off. For goalies. Look at goalies. You might want to look at goalies. Oh my god, you might miss out on fucking Zach Sawchenko. This is what you were yelling at me about? Grice, calm down. Let the streamer do what the streamer does. <laughs> anyway. Line A, Sergeche. I mean, to end up with Matthews and Line A is objectively hilarious. Pulley RV. I mean, I'd like to end up with Alex Nylander, too, but there, there's no doubt about it. We got to get Matthews and Line A in the same draft. Two way forward, Patrick Line A, which is hilarious. We're taking Line A. Matthews, the playmaker, and Line A, the two way. Shout out to Sean Squatch for the two months as we take medium top six forward, Patrick Line A. Um, there are some other players. We do have multiple second round picks. Yes, or at least one other from Washington. Winnipeg doesn't want to trade, so we'll see who they take. I believe it was Zip. Calgary. Calgary does want to trade the pick, but the value is higher than I would have hoped. 68 overall for Kachuk, by the way. This would be the time to cash out on JVR, but again, his value is so much higher than what it looks. I mean, this could be the time to cash out on Andreas Janssen and hope that somebody else is a little bit better, but it would take extra picks, too. I'm going to hold off, at least for the moment. We want to see some of those other familiar names come off the board first and then swoop in for who's left. Calgary took a skew. Ooh, high bottom six. Maybe it's a good thing we did hold off. Tampa. We're going to keep getting offers, by the way. Finnerty was a top six. Colorado, I believe, took Sergachev. Low four Sergachev. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't trade up. No. Cairo, medium top six to Vancouver. Montreal. Takes, ah, oh, low elite Alex Nylander. Damn. We knew we wouldn't be able to get everybody, but Nylander is gone. Um, that still leaves us primarily with Yessi Pugliarvi. And Julian Gauthier is the more interesting ones. We would have to trade up to land pool party. So now could be the time to do it. Carolina wants to trade. Deal them that Nashville second. And a sixth rounder. Not enough. That Nashville second and a fifth rounder. That Nashville second and a fourth rounder. A fourth and a fifth rounder. Two fourth rounders. There we go. Thank you for doing business, Carolina. With this pick, uh, we are going to take Yessi Pugliarvi. Medium top nine, wild dicks. No more trading up in this draft. No more. <laughs> you got burned like that. No more. We'll obviously recap the draft and who went where. But, uh... God, I can't set up the block like I used to. Not in this era of game. Getting a trade off every five fucking seconds. And again, it's for players that are pissed. Hello! Brooks Lycan, Tobias Lindbergh for a second and a third. Uh, obviously, getting rid of Brooks Like isn't a big deal. What's Lindbergh look like? 71 overall, high bottom, 6 at 20 years old. Lindbergh isn't bad. No guarantees he'll be great. 
And getting rid of Brooks Like isn't a bad option at all. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that for sure. Okay, we're not trading JVR right now. So let's see. Bucarts. What else do we got for familiar names here? Obviously, like there will be guys that if you roster edit or anything like that and know what to look for, there'll be familiar names. So I'm not going to call out everybody. We ended up with Line A and Pulley RV. Gautier was a low six. Yeah, we traded up one too many times to end up with uh, who we did. Holpe was the guy to take. The fall off has been immense through the second round. Again, there are familiar names, but nobody like, oh my god, Patrick Line. I mean, there's Taylor Radish. So I'm on a high backup goalie. So we're on the clock again, round number three. Who is projected to be drafted? What do we got? Cade Jensen. Uh, Savon Kyra, is that um, Chuck Kyra's brother? They got the same eyebrows. The same eyebrows that I'm immensely jealous of, by the way. Andrea Glauser, Simone Stransky, Jason Bell, Alex DeBrinkett. Okay. The Brenda Cat. Kay Shawary, Leon Arnolds, Rodrigo Bulls, Jeff Faith, Sammy Thaminen. Rasmus Asplund, I mean, right now, ADB wins easily. Looking at third to fourth rounders here really quickly. Kale Clegg. Yeah, I think we have our guy. I think we do. Alex DeBrinkitz, welcome to Toronto. High bottom six playmaker. Not too bad. A f Ooh, a set of fourth-round picks for Anton Bebo. Obviously, we know Bebo has that backup potential. Medium backup, 73 overall, 22 years old. Uh, he's technically our best goalie, but I feel like I could land somebody just as good for Bebo, potentially better, so we'll take those two picks from Ottawa. That's uh, an easy enough done deal. A lot of trade offers for Bozak as people try to steal him away from us for dirt cheap. Do have another pick in the third round. Obviously, there weren't too many other crazy names that we had to worry about. We were able to see who was there. So who can we get with this next pick? We'll look at people who are projected for the fourth round, too. Luke Philp. Carl Grundstrom. If we wanted to take a leaf. We need goalies, but we don't necessarily need goalies right now. Libor Hayek, Keanu Yamamoto, Jacob Niveau, Morgan Naus. That's some sass right there from Morgan Naus. Carlson, Max Fortier, Vitaly Abramov. There are definitely dudes with familiar names. There's no Alex DeBrinkets so far. So... Good old Cliff Poo. The legend. The legend known as Cliff Poo. Ty Bailey. Final year, he'll be in the draft. In terms of goalies, I mean, it's Brendan Burke, who's 21. Harvey Bits. Yeah, again, we're not finding. We're not finding that goalie this year, everybody. Hate to tell you. Unless we go way off the board to take somebody like freaking Vienni Vevelinen. Tyler Parsons, Ty Edmonds. Yeah, it's just, it's not happening. We need a goalie. Oh, we're not getting one. This wasn't a great trap for goalies. Um, we'll go for Kale Clegg, I guess. I mean, in terms of name value. I mean, it's Clegg. Ah, you know what? We'll go for Kyle Grunstrom. Obviously a former Leaf. We'll go for Kyle Grunstrom. Not trading Jared Cowan. Not trading Nazem Kadri. Not trading Tyler Bozak. Not trading Nazem Kadri. Middle of the fourth round. Fortier, Carlson. Do you let me some Austin Strand, Libor Hayek. I mean, when in doubt, though, Cliff Pooh. You got to take the legend known as Cliff Poo. Just as good as Alex DeBrinkett, it's Cliff Poo. 
Actually, have another fourth round pick. All right. What do we got? We didn't look at the projected fifth rounders yet. We should do that really quickly. Any familiar names? Adam Asheron. Totally Spanish. Joel Kiviranta. Pia Suter. Brandon Hagel's coming up in the draft. Okay. Was that dude named McCool? Is it McCool Cat? Well, in terms of projection, eh, so I mean, we can go for whoever. We're going for totally Spanish. Oof, Kevy Ranta, not so hot in this game. Fifth round, the first pick of the fifth round. We might have to start going off the board, although we know pretty much people won't be that good. Um, who else do we have that's projected to be drafted? I mean, again, there are some guys who made the NHL, but nobody with... Super crazy names. I mean, P.S. Suter. We can go for Brandon Hagel. It's got to be Brandon Hagel, right? Player info, please. It is Brandon Hagel. I mean, it looks like he's going to be complete trash garbage. But uh, let's go for Brandon Hagel and put that to the test. Yeah, medium bottom six. It's not nearly as bad as it was saying he was going to be. We could have taken Adam Masherin and should have taken Adam Masherin, but I'm in it for the memes at this stage. We've already made a thousand picks, so it's time to meme. What else do we got? Who wants to go after the best player? That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Alex Beret Boulet. Bartek Bison. Matt Luff. Matt Highmore. I mean, there are some future NHLs. Noah Gregor. Leafs legend, Noah Gregor. And then it drops off. We had looked through the list before, but you can see how small the scroll bar is on the right. It would take six freaking years to scroll through all the dudes. So we're not going to do that. Um, we also don't need to take Noah Gregor this early. So screw it. Who's projected to go right now? Fifth round. Let's go for... Nishoff, who became a shark. Medium seventh, that's fine. Not too worried if we miss out on anybody either. All right, another fifth round pick. Got a little bit less exciting based off of who was projected to go next. Fifth to sixth round. To appease people, I will take a goalie. I will take Harvey Bits. Low fringe. There you go. There's our goalie. I hope you're happy. What have we got in the sixth round? Sixth round. Anybody? I mean, Matt Highmore. Yeah! Terrence. Sweet, beautiful Terrence O. It is an early end to the stream tonight for you. What's up? Did you put your fist through your monitor due to Eshel? What happened? Let's take Matt Highmore. Hello, everybody. From Terry's, by the way. I'm his goofy friend that plays franchise modes. Especially older franchise modes right now. Because NHL 24 isn't very good. So we're on NHL 16. With the Toronto Maple Leafs, right? who were the worst team at the time. And to answer your question, yes, we took Austin Matthews first overall. You had to do it, you know? Just trying to you had to. This fucking grass. You could not take Austin Matthews. Thank you for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. Yeah, this is what we do. Terry Terry does goofy Eshel things. I sit here and yell at eight-year-old franchise modes. It's a fun time. Goodness, goodness. I see Fiala as the projected undrafted. Potentially. There are going to be familiar names for the projected undrafteds. But again, um... You can see still how small the dot is on the right side of the screen, the white dot, to indicate how far down we could scroll. It's absurd. Why NHL 16? Um, we have been going through pretty much all the old NHLs. I started on NHL 11 because it was the first year with the CHL. Um, and we take the worst team from that given year until we win a cup, hopefully. Uh, and then we move on. So, yeah, we started on NHL 11. We've made our way to NHL 16. So nothing too crazy in terms of the reasoning behind it. 
Uh, let's go for Beret Belay, I guess. Like I said, we're just going for familiar names at this stage. You never know if someone might actually be half decent. Don't forget you also yell at chat. That's true. On occasion. We gotta take Leafs legend Noah Gregor. Oof. Not a good potential for Noah Gregor. <laughs> not at all. Is that it for us in this uh, massive draft class? It is not. But this will be our final pick. It will be indeed. And we're in fully undrafted territory now. God damn it. <laughs> you gotta get me some of that Cameron Zanussi. <laughs> we have to take him, right? I was gonna sit here and look at all the goalies. It's Cameron Zanussi. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. I don't even care who else is here. We're taking the Zanussi. It's gotta happen. Low AHL starter until he's my actual starter. He's our guy. That is our draft class. Our first draft class with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, in real life, LOL. Uh, in this example, still pretty good. Not the most insane class in the world because of certain potentials. But uh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. And again, this is how the first round played out. Some computer-generated names in there. And then obviously some guys who were highly touted at the time that certainly... Did not make it. Uh, my favorite pick of the first round is Tyler Benson still becoming an Edmonton Oiler. And us getting Matthew Kachuk. And awkwardly, all of the logos not being centered. Does that bother anybody else? Look at how not centered the logos are. That annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm going to stop looking at it. They'll patch that next patch. Yeah. Fair shout, Coco. Fair shout. Oh, my God. Wow. Hell of a draft. Hell of a draft for us. Sets us up for this pending off season, the re-sign phase. I, I, it probably was intentional. It just looks like shit. Especially when the logos in Stat Central are centered. But EA Sports.